Hey peeps. Hello humans. We're about to put this all-in-one water cooler into my computer. I have tested it for a couple of weeks using the stock cooler that came with the AMD RX 3600. And there are a couple of times when the fan was at 100% and it was at 90 degrees Celsius. Of course, this is not an everyday person situation. It was me rendering videos for YouTube. Some gamers that like their quality settings really high might experience this as well, and I recommend using a water cooler. Charlie, show us what the water looks like. That's what water looks like. But the point is that water coolers are more efficient at moving heat away from the CPU than an air cooler. So the first step is to take the side panel off. And I'm going to take the back panel off as well because we do have to access the back plate for the CPU. So it falls and so it doesn't fall and die or something. I don't know. Yeah, he's right. So it doesn't fall and die. Because I read the instructions that came with the water cooler on this one. Not very ridiculous. It's not very ridiculous. You have Intel instructions and you have AMD instructions and AMD Threadripper instructions. These are the fans look like that come with it. And I'm not going to use them because they're a little bit noisy. And I also want to try experimenting with RGB because I have the Fractal Design Prisma AL12 fans. It's, it's very infinite. It's actually not. It's just called Fractal Design. So first things first, I'm going to grab some gloves because I don't want to use the stock thermal paste that came on the cooler. The reason is is because I have a better kind and I also want when I do my benchmarks, the thermal paste did not affect the test. It to be the same thermal paste from one test to the next. Why don't you bring that in here? There's the stock thermal paste right there. And I'm gonna put some rubbing alcohol on a shop towel. And I scrape it with my fingernail a little bit. Here's the random place if you can move. There we go. That's done. Because you're too close. There's Charlie's randoms police car he's playing with right now. That I got him at K. Roger. Roger. <laughs> so this is done. I can set that back aside. I do need to take the stock cooler out of the system. I'm gonna need Charlie's help at a certain point in that. And after we got the weird thing, the stranger things car. You need one hand to focus and one hand to hold the toy. Try it again. This is the stranger things police car, see? We need to take that cooler out without dropping the back plate. Oh no. Yep, thank you. Is this where I'm holding it? Yeah, you got it, you're perfect. I need one. Mm -hmm. Now, so Charlie could put his arms down, I have to grab Random. out of this box the brackets that we took off when we installed this motherboard. Hey, I've had to do worse. I've had to help my dad rebuild like transmissions and stuff and hold my arms straight up underneath the car for like half an hour. So I'm gonna start on the top one because oh. then it'll be less pressure for Charlie to hold it and he can start to relax once the top one's on. I will never relax for some reason. I will never relax for some reason. Now you're going to get the point. I took over holding it because I have to, you want to push while you do the final torquing down and then you don't want to torque it that hard. And I want to clean this thermal paste off so I can put a fresh coat. Oh no! A fresh coat of paint. Oh, it's not exactly good. <laughs> like the first thing, it makes your room smaller. The second thing, it makes your room smell like paint. The third thing, it, it gives you a $60 workout. <laughs> Where did you get that? That's hilarious. It's because, like, you know how much paint takes up the fill up this room? It's probably like $50 or something. Yeah. But that accent was great. It's like a southern aristocrat. Like, from, I would have to say, during the Confederacy times. It always needs a fresh coat of thermal paste. You only need a tiny bit, which costs like a dollar. But the whole Sorry, editor... You, you, you you'd best protect your investment. Protect your investment, which is the dollar's worth of thermal paste. You see? There's only like three different yeah. thermal paste application methods that have this much coverage success. And I used the kind that comes in a thing like this. 
If you're not going to be building multiple computers a year like I do, because I build computers for friends and family all the time, which all you need is about that much, which is the same amount that all YouTubers use when they put a dollop on their CPU, except I've gone ahead and put it on this little spatula that comes with the thermal paste. That's a big brain idea. I've been using the same no, thing no, no, of thermal works. paste since 2004. As you could see, that tiny bit that I used didn't, at first, didn't look like it was going to spread everywhere, but that it did. What I want to do now is actually change the mounting bracket on here to the correct kind. And you take the Intel bracket off. Let's see if you just pull it. Yeah, that's not a big deal. It doesn't break. Nope. Are you guys seeing how easy this is to put this, this thing on? on? And I just looked at the pictures to see which way it went. The pictures are in the manual. What? That's it. Very no, that's on there. Oh no. Now we need the fans, don't we? When, when you mount it up, you want the, the cables in the back up there. So I go like this, so that means once I've, I've just flipped it over, so I'm gonna want the cables in the front. So we're gonna need eight. I can't relate. You can't relate. In the reality that we live in. <laughs> it is the darkest timeline. That ever existed. All right, you're going to be handing me screws one by one. And Charlie already handed me the first one. With the fan cables, with the fan cables. There we go. Put those two fan cables together. And then my RGB port is actually right there. So these are probably going to be tucked up like this. No! Don't do it. Be careful. Be careful, Bobby. Can't look. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm trying to plug your RGB in, you're like, I can't look. Well, one thing I don't like inside of my computer is a rat's nest. I could take a twist tie and go around this screw and go around these RGB cables here and hold them up. And I can do uh, one or two more right there. Go the other way because future me will appreciate it when I have to undo this for some reason. Actually, other you will actually really appreciate it. Other me will. Now you're going to have to hand me a washer and a tiny screw at the same time. I have to get it past my lights. There we go. I got to pass the lights. Now I have to find the, where the holes line up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right? This uses a unique system. Just using a washer and a screw that comes with it. I got those two working, and these, these are not aligned. This particular radiator might be taking a different number of screws than I'm used to. Don't disappear again! Because I'm two weeks from the past? Maybe. You're supposed to be helping me put in the water cooler. Oh man. Are you past Charlie? Yes. Well, it's already May. You gotta be careful with your time travel jumps in my house. You'll learn more about that later in a video that we made in the past. My past, but your future. Okay? Okay. If you guys know what I'm doing wrong with mounting this radiator, let me know in the comments. I think the reason is because the radiator is a design that's five years newer than my case. I hope the present day you doesn't suddenly show up and I have to feed two Charlie's supper. Fish goes over dar. Yeah, I want my full serving of chicken wings. Well, lucky for you, I already made them last night for for now present day you. Sweet! I get to eat more wings! Or actually just wings. I don't get to eat more. It's, it's kind of blurred the line of past me and future me that it's kind of confuzzling. Like, I don't know why I already ate two serving in the future. Say it's memory time dilation that you get when you're a Time Lord. You kind of have to, like, just accept the visions as they come in, and then you don't know what they are until someone says something or you see something. Like I said the thing about the chicken. If I put that off popped off. Time Lord thing. Dear Corsair, I would have preferred if you made your own backplate. What is this? All right, past. Dude. That's a toy from your future, obviously. It just says, do not tighten the thumbscrews all the way. But how do I know when I'm done? How do I know when I put enough 
mounting pressure on it. So it says do not tighten all the way. I'm just going to tighten it until it feels like it's good. There I am, normal me, except I don't feel tired anymore. Why does normal me say they're normal me? Normal. Nobody ever says that. <laughs> it's because I went in the now. You went in the now. Where were you when you weren't in the now? Two weeks ago. Oh. Did you see anything cool two weeks ago? Basically this, except the whole computer. That might be why you got tired and disappeared for a while while you were helping me build the computer. You were switching places with a different version of you or maybe going through time. All right, where are these cables? I'm supposed to plug the fans into these. I'm supposed to plug this into something coming off the power supply. So I think I'm just gonna shove them, all of these things through this hole here. I'm gonna yeah. be pushing wires through. I want you to pull them through and I'll tell you when to stop. Here come two of them. Pull them through. All right, now stop. Before we'll we spin it around, let's see if I can plug in my RGB. Oh no. I left, I left the wire hanging for that plugs the RGB in for both of the fans. Here's the wire I set up earlier for both of the RGBs. And like it goes in right there. That'll be, that won't be good. All right, so this particular cooler powers the fans itself. And these are the items that do that. So I gotta plug these into these, into the, those. Into these, into these. And this, if I can get it to reach, needs to go into this because this pump actually draws power straight from the power supply instead of from the motherboard like other pumps. Don't know why. They gotta be special. They gotta be chunky. They gotta be chunky. I'm kind of lucky that I have that cable right there. We're almost done, Charlie. Then we have some hot wings. At least we're still doing it when it's still daylight out. When we built this computer, we had just finished doing two other videos. First we did the basement, and then we made the hot wings, and we ate them. And then it was like 11 p.m. when we were done upgrading the CPU and motherboard in this. I realized that I forgot a wire. So I was going into the thing, and I was trying to change the colors of the water pump, and I don't have this wire. And I was also thought I would go ahead and try, after I ate supper and got some rest, and I did get the, the holes to line up. See, here's the stock hole for mounting a 240 radiator. And I got two screws in it so far. So I'm gonna be finishing that up. And Charlie's chilling, playing Minecraft. There, that's more betters. All right, peeps, learn from my mistakes and push it a little bit, just a tiny bit harder this way, because in my case, the water hoses were interfering with the CD-ROM, and I just had to push a tiny bit more, and they're not kinked or anything, and the sheathing on them helps. So now I have to figure out how to get that wire in there. And these are the two USB 2.0 motherboard headers, and I need to use one of them, and I'm thinking, since I've never really used the software to control the power supply fan, I can take this out. I bet you it's the same kind of wire. Nope, that's USB mini and that's USB micro. Oh, there's another village. I'll go up around the motherboard this way. Go behind this wire. This that's not too bad, house. I guess. This is a lot more wires than my previous cooler. I only expected to get one more for the RGB. Come on, Corsair. Well, it works. We're going to eat supper and then do some benchmarks. Oh, that's really, really good. The, the fans are working too. The RGBs. 